Hi and welcome back to uh, the quizzes for Science 9. Again, we're featuring questions coming from the first module of the third quarter, which is about volcanoes. Alright, so let's, let's jump in for the first question, shall we? For the first question, uh, you have the following. Which among the following is a step of a process that confirms whether a volcano is active or not based on its materials? Alright, what you need to realize about this question is that I am specifically asking for a particular process na involved kapag materials ang tinitingnan natin. Alright, so remember in our classes, there are two ways uh, in which we can uh, classify a volcano kung active siya or hindi. Okay, so pwede yung historical, pwede yung material. And in this question, I'm asking for a particular step if you're going to identify a volcano or classify a volcano based on its materials. First option, A. Searching for the volcano's recent behavior online. B. Collecting rock samples from around the volcano. C. Reading various researches related to the volcano. D. Checking websites where volcanic eruptions are recorded. Merong isang general theme yung tatlo sa mga options na yan. I need you to read them again and identify which are those three options na parang pare-pareho lang ang ginagawa nila and identify which among them is actually quite slightly different. Alright, so that's what I want you to do for question number one. Identify kung alin sa mga steps na yan ang uh, parang ano, parang related siya dun sa mga sa procedure ng pag identify or pagka-classify ng volcano based on the volcanic materials. Let's now jump to question number two. For this question, which among the following is not true about the anatomy of a volcanic eruption? Ano daw yung hahanapin? Something that is not true about saan? The anatomy of a volcanic eruption. Remember that photo of a volcanic eruption that we were discussing in class? So I want you to uh, to remember that, to recall how it looks like. Yung meron siyang magma chamber. Ayan. I want you to recall that and look which among the following is uh, something that won't actually happen in the volcanic eruption. Number w letter A. With heat from the chamber, magma can seep through layers of land to form sills. B. Sills can be filled with magma that they cut through layers, forming dikes. C. Dikes can cause bumps on the topmost layer of land called fumaroles. D. Fumaroles can eject hot gas from the layer of land beneath it. Kung titingnan mo ulit yung mga options, it's actually ano ah, parang magka-connect sila, right? And I think in our discussions, ganyan din yung ano, yung sequence halos ng ating discussion eh. Nag-start siya from sill, right? And it actually ended sa may fumaroles, right? Yes. So please recall that. All right. Now, look at these options again at I am telling you, merong isa diyan sa mga options na yan. Meron siyang isang word. Isang word lang, actually. Ang nagpapamali sa kanya. Sige. Look at them. Read them again. Alright. There's only one option from among these four that has one error. It's just one word. And it makes it actually incorrect. If you change that one word... It's actually going to be correct. Maybe you want to think about the other terms. Okay? Alright. Let us now jump to question number three. The physical structure of a volcano is made of which among the following pairs of terms? Pare sila. So, pwedeng yung isa tama, yung isa mali. And in that case, kapag ganun yung pair, yung isa lang ang tama, yung isa mali, 
Can we consider it correct? Of course not. We are looking for an option na both of the terms are actually correct. And remember in our discussions sa class natin, I was actually talking about these two terms hand in hand, one after the other, relating them to the structure, the physical structure of a volcano. So let us look at the first option, lava layer and ash layer. B. Main vent and side vent. C. Lava flow and volcanic bombs. D. Geyser and fumarole. I think for option number C, medyo talagang doubtful kayo dyan, right? Kasi when we discussed uh, these two things, these two terms, or these uh, this pair of terms in our classes, they're not just actually a pair. Tatlo sila, di ba? Sige nga, recall it. Aside from lava flow and yung volcanic bombs, ano pa kasi yung isang term na kasama nila? Alright. Now, look back at the other terms for um, A, B, and D and uh, check kung alin sa mga yan ang mayroong derechong connection dun sa tinatanong sa question na to. Remember, physical structure of a volcano ang hinahanap natin. Hinahanapan natin ng connection. Okay? Let's now move on to question number four. A characteristic of volcanian eruptions is their alternating blast and quietness. Which among the following explains why this is so? So, remember, sa ating mga types of volcanic eruptions nung minimension or dinidiscuss natin yung about sa volcanian eruptions, we were actually uh, quite ano, emphasizing this alternating blast and quietness, right? Diba? I think sa mga, sa mga ibang kla- classes natin, talagang nagbilang pa tayo, diba? Like, nagbubugs lagot tayo, right? Okay, now, uh, recall that time. Recall, like, recall those moments nung inexplain natin sa class kung bakit, sila, bakit siya ganun. Bakit kapag, ano, nag, kapag volcanian ang eruption ng isang uh, volcano, bakit siya nagra-random ng ganun? What makes it do that? Is it letter A? Because lava is uh, that is coming from the vent is too thick? Is it letter B? There are many side vents causing less pressure. Where, well, if you're gonna ask me, this is actually, you know, fundamentally correct. But is it what we're looking for? Is it the answer we're looking for? Letter C. Vents are clogged by solidified rocks. So we know that uh, there is a chance for magma to solidify into rocks, right? Is this the question we're looking for? D. Lava gets shot up to the atmosphere. So, check these options and pag-isipan nyo ng mabuti. Pag-isipan mo ng mabuti. Kung alin ba sa mga options na yan, yung tipong mak- parang may connection sa pagbabara ng mga um yung tipong meron siyang connection sa pagbabara, yung meron siyang connection sa, let's say, alternation. You know what I mean? Alright. Remember what I told you in class, okay? Now, the last question, question number five. Comparing geothermal power plants to other power plants, like say, for instance, hydrothermal power plant, mga uh, wind uh, power plants, ganun, mga solar power plants, yung uh, mga coal power plants. Which among the following guiding principles is unique for it? So, specifically unique for a geothermal power plant. Is it A? Power generation through generators. Is that something that happens among geothermal power plants alone? Is B, the turning of turbines, something that only happens among geothermal power plants? C, is the production of steam as maybe a product or as a tool something that only happens among geothermal power plants? Or is it D, the harvesting of heat from the ground? 
I want you to look at these four options and make sure that whatever you choose is actually something that happens only sa mga geothermal power plants. Alright? Okay. Now, there, this has been Sir Siege and I hope that once we actually talk about or have these items in our uh, on-site class assessments, you know how to approach these questions. Please, as early as now, I am encouraging you to review. And a gentle reminder for all of the other announcements that I made in class. Please stay tuned for more reminders and directions in the future. This is Sir Siege. I am hoping that I'll see you in the next one.